Welcome back for another Cricut Crafty Day. Um, we are going to be doing ornaments today. It's hard to say that. I always want to say welcome back to another Cricut Craft Block. Christmas Cricut Craft. It's so easy. you say Cricut Craft Block. You're so used to saying that. Yeah. Huh? It's just easier to top it out instead of saying mm -hmm. it. Uh, next okay. year we'll name this something different. Okay. We are going to be glittering ornaments and also showing you how to lay vinyl on a curved surface it can be tricky and so i'm going to be showing you all of my tips today to make it as simple and easy as possible so today i have my friend ash here today if you have seen her in some of my other videos um we did a q a today together and had a blast she's my very best friend and today i have recruited her to do some other crafts with us and maybe she'll be joining us through the month so she is weeding our designs right now I'm going to um, bring the camera forward and we're gonna go ahead and get started I've already pre-cut my designs um, Ash is getting them ready to go so at the beginning of this week I showed you how to cut the vinyl and today we're just going to be applying it on that curved surface all right. Also, as a bonus craft, I'm going to be showing you guys how to glitter these awesome ornaments. So these are glass, but you can do these with glass or with plastic. Either works. Hey, everybody. Welcome and come on in. Okay, so here is my station, and Ashlyn will be working on the pink paper. Um, I have polycrylic here. It is Minwax gloss and I like to have the gloss because I feel like it gives it more shine and every ornament that I've ever made lasts with the gloss. Um, people like to always ask about polyurethane. Can polyurethane be used? But the sad answer is no because it yellows over time. So I'm just going to draw up some of the poly and you can get one of these medicine droppers at your pharmacist if you just ask for them they'll normally most of the time just give them to you or Matt bought this one at Walmart where was it Matt in what section in the pharmacy section in the pharmacy section yeah. okay so after you have your poly in it you're just gonna swirl it around it doesn't matter how much you have on here because you're going to drain the excess. And I've done ornaments a few times. So if you've watched my videos, you may have seen you may have seen me do these ornaments. I love to do them. So that's as quick as that one is. Matt, if anybody has any questions along the way and we don't see them, just help us out and read them out to us. Okay. So we're going to be doing four ornaments today. All of my glitter is from Peachy Olive Glitters. I have the link in the description box. They do um, next day shipping. Shipping is free, over $50. And I am obsessed with her glitter. I'll show you the four colors that I chose to do today. But I'll also show you some other colors that she sent um, just because I had such a hard time choosing which color I wanted to use because they were all beautiful. Do you need transfer tape? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to let it drain into the poly right here. And then, or into, back into the poly itself. And then just put it in a little cup. Can you guys see these? No, you can't. And then I just let them drain into the cup. Some people ask me, how long do I let them drain? And really, I just let them drain as long as they want to um, until there's no drip, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do all four. Has anybody here, drop me an emoji if you've made these polycrylic ornaments before. I see some videos doing these with um, floor wax or um, like I said polyurethane or different techniques. But the only way that you're guaranteed these to last year after year is with um, the polycrylic. 
I tried them with Floralax one year. I think I even did a video on Pledge Revive. But when I pulled them out the next year, they were totally ruined. And I had to redo more, which I was not upset about. Because I love to play with the glitter. Lots of people have made them before. Yeah. This is a really fun craft. Oh, yeah. Lots of people. You are some glitter people. So what I'll do is I'll do this last fourth. I'll do this last one. And by the time I get done with this one, my first one that I did should be ready to go. One reason I love to use um, peachy olive glitter is it's polyester glitter. And... Craft Store Glitter covers 14 square feet per pound. So if you buy glitter at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, it covers 14 square feet per pound. If you buy poly, polyester glitter, the good quality stuff, it covers 100 square feet per pound. So you get a lot more for your money. It lays flatter. It doesn't lose its sparkle. Craft Store Glitter will lose its sparkle over time. So always go for the good stuff. What size cup do you put them in? Your cups are too small. So it's what's probably size? like, I don't know, five ounce? I think it's it like is. like a mouthwash cup. Yeah, yeah, so these are in the hygiene section at Walmart, and they're, it's just like a mouthwash cup, and they, they fit they're perfectly. With the they're with paper plates and stuff? Yeah. Oh. They have been small ones. Those are probably like six or eight ounces, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put him to the side. I am done with the polycrylic for now. Now let's move on. Matt, if you'll turn the light on, on the ring light, let's move on to the good stuff. So here are the four colors that I picked for these projects. You guys, please let me know which one is your favorite. This one is Lassie, and it's a pink mix. So pretty. Um, this one is Jasmine. It's a blue and it has almost like a golden undertone. It's beautiful. It looks like Princess Jasmine's dress. It looks like Princess. It does it's look. It's, it's aptly named. Dad of girls. <laughs> Dad of girls. Yeah. And then this one is Paris. And then I'm going to go with Wise Men. So these are kind of um, our Christmas theme here. Um, at my shop is the golds and pinks and blue, teals and silver. So that's what I wanted to go with to get these done today. I think the wise man's my favorite. You think you like them? Mm -hmm. So wise man is Ashlyn's favorite. Matt, what's yours? He kind of reacted to. I was gonna say he reacted to Jasmine. He loves the Jasmine. Love it, it looks like it'd be soft if I could put my hand. In. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So another thing that I do, you guys. Um, this is just a tip is I take a little bit of a paper towel and it does get along the rim and I just wipe off that edge and now we're ready to pour. You can use a funnel for this. But I'm just going to pour with my hand wrapped around it. Oh, that's a, you, Matt, you don't have to whisper. It's hard to know how loud you're being there. Perfect. Okay, so how much glitter do you pour in? Just pour it because you can drain the rest of it out. You can pour the rest of it out. All right, so Wiseman is a chunky mix. So... Let's start, and you just start to swirl it. Isn't that pretty? That's why it's my favorite. That's your favorite? <laughs> For sure, yeah. And then you can put your cap on before you finish swirling, and it won't scratch your glitter or your glass. 
and just tap it down. And this one is Wise Men. So pretty. All right, so let's move on to the next. All right, we'll do Jasmine next because that one was Matt's favorite. And every time I'm working with glitter, I always put paper down, and that's because um, easy, cleanup. easy cleanup, yes. If I drop any glitter, then it's easy to just put it back into the bag. Because nobody, nobody can waste glitter. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's swirl Jasmine. You still like it, Matt? Mm-hmm. That's your favorite? Yep. It almost looks like it glows. It does, yeah. So again, you can just put your lid back on. So see how, let me see, see how the top is not all the way finished. I'm going to go ahead and swirl it as it leaks. And then that way it covers it completely and you don't have any scratch marks left um, from putting your top back on. That one is beautiful. So that one is Jasmine. Let's put Wiseman right there. All right, moving on to the next. Let's do, you want to do Paris or Lassie? I'll take Paris. Okay. All right, you want to do one? Mm -hmm. All right, so Ash is going to do one for us. I just kind of cut my hand around and it went in. Well, I cut it around. Make a funnel, make a funnel. <laughs> funnel, funnel. There you go. And it'll work against your hand and go into the ornament. Unless you know. your hands are not coordinated. No, you're doing it. You're doing great. That's why we use the paper. That's why we use paper. Easy cleanup. Um, a bit more. Okay. Sorry. That's good. All right, just tap that to the side. Yep, we can always put that up and then swirl it closer to the camera. Oh man, that one's really pretty. Oh, no. So this one is Paris, and I think that one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite? No, you said Wiseman. Wiseman is your my favorite? favorite, but this is like definitely. A... I don't know, that one might be my favorite now that I've seen it. Then I, I know. It's like all kind of funky. I think they all go together well. No, yeah, you're good. And then put your cap back on. And then, Matt, will you turn the light down just a bit? Because I want them to see the contrast and the texture of Paris. Paris is a must-have. Absolutely beautiful. Especially for Christmas. Especially. It looks like the multicolor lights. Yeah, it does. All right, so hit the like button if you love Paris. And then lastly, all right, so let's do it right here so it's more in focus. And let's do Lassie. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the last one we'll do. And then I do want to show the other colors and how pretty they are. Here we go. Yes, they are. They really are so pretty. And has your opinion changed since um, we started putting them in the ornaments? Because they look so different mm -hmm. outside of the bag. And like I said, you can use a funnel. They make glitter funnels. You can make a paper funnel. Um, Oh, that one's pretty, too. It is pretty. That one matches the shop. Right, take it easy this time, Ash. Sorry. We want to see it. We want to see it. Leave a little room at the top to put your cap in before you, uh, before you finish it out. 
Oh, yeah. Ash gets excited about glitter. Mm hmm. Yep, 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 okay, yep. Cap. I think it's cap time. Yep, it's right there next to the, to the syringe. Good job, Ash. Hey. Have you ever glittered one before? Uh -uh. You haven't. You, you're, you're like a pro. Now. You're like a pro. <laughs> took, so, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, her entire tree. Is made with yeah. I forget. Is made with um, ornaments that she has done, but she hasn't made any of the glitter ornaments. But now you have. But I've used your SDGs. Yes, you have, and aren't they easy to do okay. the ornaments? Like they're encouraging. They're so easy to do. Okay, so now I want to take this away, and I will leave the ornaments up so you guys can see them. And I just want to show you some of the colors that are sent. They are so beautiful. Okay, so this one is called Spaghetti Breakfast. Can you bring it down just a bit because I can't reach? Sure can. All right. This one is called Spaghetti Breakfast. I guess, I think it's named after Elf. Isn't yes. that cute? That's very cute. All right. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Right. Isn't this pretty? I got an idea. Okay. How about we give some of this glitter away? Oh, Matt says we should give the glitter away. All right, let's give some of this glitter away. So, how do you want to do it, Matt? Um, like, subscribe, comment, and then we'll pick a we'll winner. We'll pick random. a random winner. Yes. Yep. All right, so like, subscribe, and comment, and we are going to pick a random winner tonight to win how many bags do you want to give away? What is the day? December 6th? Yep. Can we give away six bags? We can give away six bags. Are you, right. are you okay with parting with six bags of glitter? <laughs> well, I'm not, but you're doing this on a live, and I can't really say no, you so. Can't, you can't back out. <laughs> I can't back out. All right, this one is Franklin. So pretty. Mm -hmm. So leave me a comment. Like the video. Tell Make us sure. what your favorite is out of all these. Yes, tell us. That's it. Leave us a comment and tell me what your favorite glitter is. This one is Silver Bells. And make sure to do that after video is posted. That way we can still see the comment. That this seems like a lot of rules. Hey, it's free glitter. <laughs> yes, so this one is Sleigh Bells. And look how pretty that one is. Back on Franklin, mm -hmm. it's more purpley than it looks like. Yeah, Franklin does. Anything. It is. So this one is Cheermaster. Uh -huh. That's like the that one. Yep. I love the way she names her glitter. It's so cute and fun and unique. So this one is Cheermaster. Okay, hold on. Let me bring that comment up. Renee says you can replace the glitter for me. The glitter that I'm giving away. <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't anyway. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. This one is Ralphie. Let me open this up for you. Ralphie is so pretty, too. Look at that one. It's not quite a navy, but... No, it definitely has blue and silver. But it's a different color blue. Mm -hmm. This one is Basic White Girl, and this is always this has always been um, one of my favorite glitters from Peachy Olive. Look how beautiful that one is. So pretty, Basic White Girl. So pretty. Love that one. Gonna show you just a couple more. This one is Blue Boy, a super light blue. Absolutely beautiful. And then we're gonna pick one more to show you. Um, let's do Sleigh Ride. And all right, this one is Sleigh Ride. Oh my goodness, Sleigh Ride is gorgeous. So festive. Yep. We turn the light up. Right, tell me where. Yeah, that's good. Look how pretty Slay Rod is. So pretty. It is, what would you say, Ash, red and silver? I think so. But then there's some of that, like, holographic. Yeah, the mm -hmm. iridescent kind. From yes, that one that's, is beautiful. That's a good word. Thank you. What, iridescent? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's this. Yes. A little bit of mix yes. of that. And then we have, if you're just joining us, joining us, or if you missed it, we have Paris, Wise Men, Jasmine, and Lassie. So, I am going to give away six bags of this glitter per mat.
after the video has ended, please comment back with your favorite. And let's run it for 24 hours. That gives everybody a chance to um, join in the fun and enter the giveaway. So tomorrow night, I'll be announcing a winner. Make sure you like. Make sure you like the video. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave me a comment of which is your favorite color. And I will see you guys Monday as we continue a very merry cricket. Wait, we didn't put our decals well, we on. Ah, oh, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with. I'm gonna do Jasmine. Okay, I want to do wise men, and I did this decal on some of my ornaments, so I'm gonna okay. do this one. All right, so Matt's going to raise the camera up for us. Right. Going up. Yep. Same way. That's good. All right, and I'm going to crank the light down ever so slightly. Oh, ever so slightly. Have we burnished? Have we scraped them? Oh, no. Okay, let's scrape them. Like, I got so excited about the glitter, I forgot about the second <laughs> Thank you. I was just ready to give some away. Yes, she is. Okay, so Ashlyn is going to be using a scraper. I am going to be using scissor handles because if you don't have a scraper, it's honestly okay. Credit card uh -uh. will work too. Mm -mm. I don't want it. I'm using these scissor handles. Nobody handed me a scraper. You All right. Your gifts, yeah, that's true. That is true. So... All of these files that you're going to be seeing today are in my patron files. And if you would like access to 600 of... And counting. And counting. 600 of my personalized files for commercial access, you can log on to patreon.com slash All of them are hand lettered. All right. So here's a trick to doing these ornaments. I'm just going to go ahead and center it. But then I'm going to take my scissors and make a little cut so that way it has um, room some to give. Yeah, some give, room to wiggle. Because since you are doing this on a curved surface, and you can do this before you lay it on your ornament, but I want to show you what happens if you forgot to do it before. Um, it will give it some give and it'll prevent some of the wrinkles. Also, the good thing is that you can peel some of it off. So if you just tap the center and you've got some curving, because you tap the center and you didn't try to burnish it all at once, it gives you a little bit more, it's, forgive, it's forgiving. All right, so I'm just gonna peel away the transfer tape. And then this one is finished. Holly ooh, Jolly. Ooh, you like it, Matt? Yeah. Isn't that cute? Somebody in the comments said that would be a cute baby's first Christmas. I think the pink one oh, would be too. It would. It would. This, these really would be. Mm -hmm. So Ash said, let me find that comment. They said that... Well, I forgot. But <laughs> Jasmine, I think would be cute. This would be cute for baby's first Christmas, this color. And it is, it's so pretty. So um, this one is Holly and Jolly. And like I said, and Matt told you guys, this is hand lettered. And you can grab these at patreon.com slash Holly Mastilla. So Ash, it's your turn. Get into the camera view. So I've also got my hand lettered SVG. I use these on my ornaments at home already. So I had already pre-cut my little slits to have some give. Let me just center it on there. And like Holly said, you start from the center and go up and down just. And I think that's called the hinge method when you go from the center. I like the pre-cut you did. I think that's good. Yeah. That's clever. Well, I bit and pre-cut, and then it made my stickers, scissors sticky, <laughs> stickers sizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Lives are so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Oh, sorry, I'm not good at it. Yep, you gotta remember that camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cute. This That's is another cute. hand lettered. All of the ones that we are working with today, um, you can have access to. They, they're laughing at Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Dickers. Yeah, and so when you work on a curved surface, there is a little bit... Got to get a little more mush. Yes, and you have to have the patience. Um, it's not as easy as putting it on a flat surface, but once you get it down, you cut the slit in the, in the transfer sheet. It makes a world of difference. I would pick the longest one. Thank you, Renee. You're doing great. It's okay. It does. It looks really good. And what I like about it is you're not losing any detail. Like, you're not losing any of those little dots. And that's why you gotta take your time. Yep, just take your time. Oh, it looks so good. Just a little bit. Yep. And then we have a jingle. Looks so good. So, what do you guys think of that one? Let's do one more. Whoopsie. And I'll do, we'll do Mary and Brat. They're asking what size did you cut these? One and a half inches tall. Yep, Ash, Ash. I knew that from before. <laughs> yeah, Ash pre cut these for us. <laughs> and they are one and a half inches tall. So what size are the ornaments? They're just like a standard. Standard size, I think, yeah. I'd say probably three inches, maybe. Let me do this one. All right. So I'm going to lay it, tap it in the center. And then work my way around. I've already cut the slits in the transfer tape so I can kind of manipulate it and move it. Yeah, Tammy, um, these are saved and you can watch these anytime on a replay. And I like how you made these. Uh, SVG specifically for ornaments, like you kind of rounded them out when you yes. were doing them. Yes, when I drew these, yeah, um, I rounded them so that way. Thank you. All right, show the one that you made. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it is so cute. Which one is that? Your Oh, Holy Night. With Lassie. Um, with Lassie. Okay, so I'm just going to get this last one on here. Get the H. Go on there. Sometimes they just don't want to cooperate, do they? Patience. Again. Well, I, I, that, see, and that's one thing that I don't have. But with ornaments, you have to. Especially when you have glitter on your hands and they don't, like the, it gets all over everything so they don't speak as well. Right. Exactly. And you can, like I said, if you don't have it all the way um, pressed down, you can kind of manipulate it. And let me put my little laurel wreath back on there. And this one is Mary and Bright. Peel the transfer tape off, and this one will be finished. I wonder why. Okay, I just couldn't get it off, you guys. All right, and this one, turn it up just a oh, bit. Baby. Let's see. Isn't that pretty? That one was worth the wait. That one was. Thank you. That one was worth the wait. Merry and bright, but I want you to look at this glitter. How pretty! <laughs> I'm still uh -huh. obsessed with the Thank glitter. So. Let's Thank give you. all of our attention to the glitter. <laughs> so pretty. 
Oh, so thanks for joining us, you guys. You still have a chance to enter to win six bags of glitter. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to sign up for Patreon if you want these cut files plus 600 more and tons of benefits. You also, if you are a patron, get 15% off of all peachy olive glitter. So it's definitely worth that investment. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Ash and Matt. And I will see you Monday for another Cricket Craft.